Hello friends. Welcome to the California Garden in the month of September. This is the month when summer is all but over and the cool weather sets in. We have divided our video into four sections. In the first section we will take a tour of the garden. In the second section we will look at what's growing in the garden. In the third section we will look at all the harvest that we made. And finally we will look at the things to do in your garden this month. So let's start with the garden tour. In the first bed we have the emerald okra growing that has produced a lot of okra. And right next to it where we had the okra plants growing, we harvested them and then we planted some onions. The tomato jungle is now actually looking like a jungle, but the tomato production has resumed. In very high temperatures, you might expect a reduction in the amount of tomatoes you get. But once the heat of the summer season is down, you're going to get more tomatoes. This is the pumpkins bed. And then moving on to the amaranth bed, where we had a lot of amaranth growing. You might have seen my episode on growing amaranth, where we harvested a lot of amaranth from this bed. And moving on to the peppers and eggplant bed. It's the end of summer and the peppers and eggplants are still growing. They're still producing very strong. As you can see here, the poblano peppers, they're looking great. And this is a poblano pepper. And then we also have eggplants. As you can see around here, this is the purple eggplant. And this plant has produced a lot of eggplants. So I made a separate video on this and if you want a link to the seeds, let me know. I will send you the link to some of these purple like plant seeds so that you can grow them in your garden. Now let's look at what's growing in the garden. We have white cucumbers that grew very well in September. These are a prolific cucumber variety that I highly recommend. And in the pumpkins bed or the melons bed, we have the winter melon that's growing. It's also called the ash gourd and it's a great melon to grow in your garden. We also have the red pumpkins. Now my pumpkins didn't grow very well this year, but I still got decent pumpkins from this bed. Now this is the Malabar spinach. This is a great spinach variety that will give you a lot of spinach during the heat of the summer season. It can be grown in spring, summer as well as fall and is a summer crop. This is the bitter gourd plant. Now out of all the gourds that are growing, the bitter gourd did give us a lot of harvest compared to the other gourds. So it's a great gourd to grow during the summers. Now let's look at all the harvest that we made during the month. Amaranth. This was a prolific grower this month. We harvested a lot of amaranth the whole month and the plants are still growing strong. White cucumbers were very prolific as well. We were growing this in a container and we got a lot of white cucumbers and now towards the end of the summer season we are still getting a few of them. So the white cucumbers are not only very delicious, I hope you try growing them in your garden. I'm sure that you're going to like the taste of the cucumber as well. And it's also easy to grow them in containers. Here you can see the harvest. Great looking cucumbers that are delicious and easy to grow. And the eggplants, the purple eggplants, we harvested right through September. A lot of eggplants being harvested as you can see here. And all our eggplants, whether we were growing them in containers or in raised beds, produced a lot of eggplants that we harvested right through the summer season and through September. And now moving on to the gourds, the bottle gourd was one gourd that we planted in containers as opposed to raised beds as we usually do. And in this whiskey barrel container, it actually did very well. You can see our first harvest that looks pretty good. And then subsequently we were able to harvest a few more from this plant. And if you haven't tried growing bottle gourd, I highly recommend that you try it out. It's a very delicious gourd. 
that you can prepare in a lot of different ways and is also very healthy. It does contain a lot of vitamins and minerals so it's healthy and it's nice for you. A bitter goats, we were able to harvest a lot of bitter goats from uh, this bitter goat plant. This is also growing in a container and bitter goat once again is something that you might have to try out before you grow it in your garden. But if you do like the taste, I can tell you one thing for sure. Uh, this is loaded with uh, vitamins, minerals, antioxidants and is extremely good for your health. Now moving on to ridge gourd which was the uh, other gourd variety that we planted. Uh, this was growing in the raised bed which was right next to our wall and it provided some good support. Now ridge gourd is another excellent gourd variety to grow and you have to try it out before you grow it. Once you start growing a gourds like ridge gourd, I'm sure that you'll be pleasantly surprised. Now Malabar spinach was one spinach variety that grew very well through summer. As well as in the month of September, we were able to harvest a lot of spinach from this plant and we were growing this in a container, a whiskey barrel container, about four plants. As you can see here, they have wined out quite a lot. So one way to harvest Malabar spinach is to just trim the vines. That way your plant will be pruned and you will get a harvest of your Malabar spinach as well. The other option is to just harvest the leaves as you can see here. And as you keep harvesting, the plant will keep growing and eventually it will form flowers as you can see here that will form seeds. So you can grow a fresh crop next year. Okra. We harvested a lot of okra from not only our container, which was the giant okra. It was still growing strong in September. But we also harvested a lot of the emerald okra from the raised bed. Now uh, the emerald okra is one of the most prolific okras that I've grown and I highly recommend that you grow this okra variety. If you have grown it do let me know in the comments below or if you have a specific okra variety that you would like our viewers to try do let us know. And this okra variety the emerald okra is also very delicious. It's quite resistant to pests except for aphids. I did have some aphids on the plants and it was easy to clean them with just soapy water and just spray them down. Now this is the harvest. As you can see here the okras look excellent and they not only look excellent they have excellent flavor as well. The peppers we harvested this month include the poblano pepper that you see here, the Santa Fe Grande pepper which is an excellent pepper variety. It's hot as well. And the uh, hotter and very delicious Thai chili peppers. We were able to get a lot of these Thai chili peppers and uh, they were not only hot, they were excellent in taste as well. Now the pumpkins that you see here, these are the red pumpkins. We did not get a huge pumpkin harvest this season, but just a few. But uh, the quality was excellent. Uh, these are the small pumpkins the baby pumpkins that you can grow in your garden. We also harvested the winter melon as you can see here. It's also called the ash gourd by some people but it's a winter melon. It's a white from inside and it's absolutely delicious. So when your winter melon uh, reaches this size you can harvest it. As you can see here it's a great looking melon and I'm sure that you'll enjoy the taste. Now moving on to our fruits. We have Arabian guavas that are growing and are producing guavas this month. So starting September uh, we did get a lot of Arabian guavas. As you can see here they have ripened and they look yellow compared to the slightly green ones. The ones that are extremely yellow are the ripe and the sweet guavas. And this is one of my favorite guava varieties. And moving on to pomegranates. Pomegranates have started ripening uh, this year on this month and as you can see here we have started harvesting them and we do have a lot of pomegranates growing. We are able to harvest at least one or two a day and it still keeps producing. So this is the wonderful pomegranate and it's of excellent quality. 
Now let's look at the things to do in your garden for this month. The first step is to prepare your beds. And the way you prepare your beds is rake them nicely, make sure all the weeds are gone and add a lot of organic matter to your bed so that you're ready to plant. And it's a good time to start your fall vegetables. We are sowing this Utah Jumbo yellow onions in this bed. It's a great onion variety to grow in Southern California and it's also the perfect time. So once your beds are ready, you need to start sowing your seeds. And uh, before you sow your seeds, you need to make some rows. So I'm just using this tool to make some rows in the bed and then sow the seeds in a straight line. Now don't worry about thinning the seeds. You can thin the seeds later on once the plants emerge. And just cover the seeds well and then once the seeds are covered, you just need to water them and keep them moist until they germinate. And we're also going to be starting our cool season crops like beets. And if you're growing in containers, uh, make sure you use a good organic potting mix. I saw this one at our local garden center and I'm trying to use it and I'll let you know how it goes. But it looks like it's a great quality potting mix. It's organic and we're going to be growing our winter radishes in this container. So it's a good time to start your winter crops. So there we have it folks. That was our episode on the California garden in the month of September. If you like this monthly gardening series, do give us a thumbs up for this video and do let me know in the comments below what you are planning to do in your garden this month. See you again soon. Happy gardening.